What's up, what's up, knife people? Back again with another knife video. Uh, today I got for you guys, um, I'm gonna be doing a quick little review, double review kind of on uh, these two ProTech Strider collaboration knives, the um, SNG and the uh, small PT Strider Protect. Um, but first, I wanted to um, say a couple things. Um, um, I want to continue the Smooch Fest a little bit and you know, thank all you guys for watching. Um, uh, for all those that participated in the knife giveaway, um, I appreciate it. Um, Again, I got my 100 subs now, so the pressure's up a little bit. I got 100 people to disappoint if I don't do good videos. So I'm gonna do my best to keep it all coming positive. Um, a quick shout out to the winners, uh, John Eli, Dave Zito, Andrew Drill, uh, a couple of my local boys, um, my man Beater, uh, and my man Steve. You guys know who you are. Um, you know, thank you again, guys, for, you know, playing along with all my antics on the videos and, you know, just keeping all the positive flow coming. Um, you know, I do my best to, you know, keep fresh new knives out here. You know, some a little different from what everybody else is doing, you know, regular old rotations and reviews. So, um, you know, I hope you guys like it. Um, and what else here? Um... Again, just really want to thank you guys. Um, and uh, so that's it. Let's get this review process on the road here. Let you know what I think of the pros and cons of this knife and this one. Uh, I'll start off by saying, uh, uh, you know, I don't really uh, double take these videos. Once I start shooting, I kind of keep going. So. Uh, if I keep it a little raw on you guys, uh, my apologies. Hopefully some of you guys like that. Um, so here we go. Um, the SNG Strider here. So this is uh, a couple pros I had on this knife. Um, the size is good. Well, actually, no, let me start off with the smaller one. This one had more cons that I, I didn't really like. Uh, just off starters, it's too small. I have large to medium sized hands and uh to really use it a lot it's um pretty small size um you can tell it's uh you know very fit in your hand um it had a little play when it a little downward play on the blade there i don't think it hits but um that was a little thing i noticed <laughs> Um, action is good a little bit of wiggle in the blade but tightening it here you can always uh, tighten it up a little bit but over time they snap out with such force that they wiggle free this one has the 154 cm um, actually uh, <clears throat> a pro on the knife was the pocket clip that was good so carry it carried pretty good um, steel choice actually is really well. I mean, uh, it, it holds up pretty good. Um, and 154 CM, from my knowledge, is easy to start sharpen. So, uh, you know, probably a good knife to, uh, not a hard knife to sharpen. Um, what else here? Uh, another problem I had with the knife here is this button's just too small. Um, if I compare it to this Protect, it's a little bigger and just gives you a bigger place to deploy the knife. I thought it would have been better with maybe this size deployment. <clears throat> but then again, ProTech knows better than me. I'll show you the action real quick on this one. So, man. So it's got good action. Um, but again, it's just so small. Uh, unless you really want a small knife, uh, you're not going to be able to do much with it. Um, for me, it just cramps up my hand trying to squeeze down on it, uh, being so small. Um, the cutouts and the choils are good. 
Um, jimping is good, not too aggressive. And then you got some here on the aluminum. <clears throat> the aluminum holds up pretty good. It's lightweight, I like it. Um, I completely forgot to do the specs on you guys. I'm talking so much. For all those that, in my early videos that said I didn't talk enough, go figure. <laughs> so here we go. We'll measure this guy. It is uh, about six and a half inches. You got your blade length of, let's see here, under three inches. And a cutting length of two and a half almost. So, like I said, small knife. Um, handle length is roughly three and a half <clears throat> so again uh, not a knife I would buy again just for the simple fact that I like the size of this Les George better just a little bigger a little more sturdier <clears throat> so if I would get any smaller pro tech it would probably be this one uh, so again this one I have pretty much nothing else um, on this guy <clears throat> so again if you're looking for small pro tech uh, and you don't have to worry about the California legalities that kind of stuff uh, this is okay but if you want a user automatic uh, if I'm not the way to go another thing also is you gotta always remember you need two hands to close it opening is fine but unless you're gonna push up against something uh, which is the only thing this butt really helps for. You're gonna have, you know, you need that second hand to close it. So keep that in mind also. But overall, it's a good knife. Just not size wise, it's not for me. Now, this bad boy, on the other hand, um, really like this guy. Um, I got these really just to try out automatics and I wanted to try out the Strider designs. Getting this guy in hand is uh, obviously a lot more hand filling. You got more space to choke up, you got room to move back. Um, this knife, uh, ergos wise, is, is very well. I mean, very comfortable. You can use it uh, for a long, long period of time. I haven't used this one much because this is actually one of my favorite knives, um, but it is very, uh, very useful blade. I've cut, you know, paper, I've cut a couple things on it. So just to get the feel for it. Again, it's 154 CM also. Take a quick look on the blade. Sorry for most sporadic guys today, just, uh, Trying to get back in this rhythm. Don't do it for a while, you kind of get rusty. I'll give you uh, another con on the knife was the pocket clip. Um, didn't like that too much. It was pretty stiff, super stiff actually. So you can't even pull it out. Um, so the pocket clip does have to go in my opinion. Um, I haven't looked into it too much, but uh, yeah, pocket clip is not too good. You got the same aluminum body, um, which is holding up pretty good. I actually like the feel. I mean, it, it doesn't give it a lot of traction, but um, you know, you have such a positive grip on the knife that, uh, you know, it's not a problem. Uh, unless your hands get all sweaty like mine. <clears throat> so here we go, but I wear gloves, so it doesn't matter. Damn, see that? Ooh, dangerous. So yeah, kids, these are not toys. So, man, nice action. Again, the action was awesome on this. Um, blade play, let's check the blade. This has been rock solid ever since I got it. At one point it did loosen up because I was flipping it like I don't know how many times per day, but I was really trying to get the action down. Um, so I went ahead and tightened it up a little bit at one point. Ever since then, it's been rock solid. 
So again, you got your good jimping up here. Round it off a little bit on the aluminum. This uh, blade finish is, I think, shark skin finish. So just a little coated blade. I like my coated blades. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much um, all the positives and negatives I got for this guy also. Um, what else here? That's it. So, oh, forgot to measure it. Give you guys a quick little measurement. I'll put the ounces up later. I didn't have that. So here you're looking at, uh, it's eight inch all together. You have the blade of three and a half. So three and a half blade and about a three inch cutting. So not the greatest with all these choils, you lose a lot of cutting, but um, I mean, I think the ergos, you know, um, <clears throat> make up for that. Um, so again, my biggest complaint on these knives is having them for about a month now, or a little bit over a month is the closing. Um, it's really hard to get um time or you know have that second hand free to close so you gotta really be conscious of that as opposed to you have your fidget compression lock like this one you can always drop it you have your access lock which again you can deploy and you can stow it pretty quick with or without gloves so again that's why some of these knives are the ones that i use the most even uh this endura you can kick it out drop it no problem so that's one of my biggest issues with knives if you do not have a way to retract it you're stuck with an open knife and now you gotta use your other hand or again, close it some weird way. And once you're closing it, you have to keep the tension or it'll pop back and who knows what'll happen. So definitely not toys to play with. So yeah, again, that's your automatics. That's my take on them. What I didn't, don't, didn't like, um, but I would say if you do get any automatic or the full size ones, uh, this is my favorite one. Doesn't matter the color, the pat uh, pattern, blade pattern or uh, color scales, but this size in particular is really good. And I get, again, this is one of my favorite knives. So um, I'm not gonna knock it and I would get it again. This one I would buy again. This one I would probably think twice because of the size and doesn't do much for me. Um, more of the mid range here. So I'll give you guys a quick little size comparison of what I got out here. And then I got another little quick surprise for y'all. Since I got so much going on with this uh, 100 subs, guys. Keep the pressure on me. That's all right. Keep it coming. I like it. Here's the ProTech family that I got. These are the sizes. You can see why the... SBR is the perfect size right in the middle, that handle. Yeah. All aluminum bodies. Let's check this out. You guys wanted to get me talking on video. <laughs> there you go. Let's get this guy out here. Pair of three. This is what I like to do, guys. I like to show you guys the knives. Show you different ones. I thought you guys get a different look and stuff. There we go. Hope I showed that long enough. We got here Endura. 
<clears throat> and again, like I said, guys, try to keep this raw as possible. And uh, if I mess up here and there, let me know. I will try to correct myself as I go. And let's get a little guy in here. And I'll put the ender. So you gotta get a real sense of size of it here. <clears throat> so how you like that, huh? So you can tell the size on that pretty much. No. It's a way small knife. So you gotta take your pick guys, choose wisely. Like I said, I'm only your percentage of what should make you buy a knife. I don't expect you guys to buy a knife just because I said so. Uh, but definitely I do want to uh, be a portion of that. So here you go, I still got this guy I'm working on. So I got some more videos to come for you guys. And I'm gonna end it. I wanted to show you guys this stuff for National Knife Day. Some more stuff I want to get into. Uh, some big knives. Hopefully you can see all that. Um, just some stuff I want to get on camera. Hopefully you guys like it. I got me a cold steel samurai sword type of thing. It's probably like an 18 inch something. Got me a Jar Rose, Jesse Jar Rose. Uh, Chopper, it's called. So that's it. Check that out. I do is about chopping my finger off to the blade stock. So, I got this knife. Again, these are all knives I haven't really touched. These are all just my, you know, shits and giggle swords. Shit that I like. So, this is one of my favorites, actually. This shit is a pretty good chopper. This thing bites like you wouldn't believe on this wood. Check this out. Man, see that? It just bit into the wood like, look at that. No good business. And I also got this nice machete I got a long time ago too. I liked it so much I didn't really use it. So I started using the Chance in Hell. And let's see here, using the camera. So that's my John Eli. Or what is it, Book of Eli, a <laughs> Johnny Machete. Pretty cool, huh? So there you go, here's another one. Bang! What else makes it over here? And we also got another big boy here. Raider Bowie. Like that. So there we go, guys. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Got this other humdinger knife I think I put on a video recently. So. Uh, Mr. Dave Zito. I got an axe for you. I got a couple ax axes I want to show you as well. It's a little baby axe. Tops. Forget the name of it. But, yeah. And I got the companion knife to the Choppa, the Jaros. And I also have the Turok. So, that's it, guys. If you like all this stuff, give you a quick little... Where's I got going? And again, if you guys want to see more, stick around. 
and maybe I'll catch you on the ah, chopping block here. Have a good one, guys. Peace.